Hey friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, it does not work without you guys. So, thank you all for being here. Tomorrow is Easter. Happy Easter to everybody, and I hope that we're all hunkering down and that we are finding a way to make it through this. You, you know, it seems like it gets a little easier every day because you get used to being at home kind of you know and I know it's hard I know it's really hard and if you need help a great resource is 211 United Way Ooh, what if they can help me get some sleep but United Way is part of 211 it's local and all the communities and things like that great resource to get you help with anything that you need during this pandemic and a, we all know that we all need some help to get through it so earlier today we had TMZ um, with an article lambasting Dak Prescott and Zeke Elliott um, for having a party. Party in which they said that there were over 30 people at the peak. And I was looking at this, I, I talked about this earlier, and I said just something, I said, you know, I said, if it's true, Dak and Des, I mean, excuse me, Dak and Zeke, they should be in trouble for this because you can't have a party. Let's be honest, they can't have a party. You know, they had a party at my daughter's building, you know, and now a couple people have corona. All right? This shit is real. I don't care if you don't believe it or not. Hey, just be cautious for the rest of us, okay? Because what you do will affect others. And I said, if it's true, you know, then, then something should happen to it. So we're getting bits and pieces from this. And Drew Davidson posted, well, okay, let's go back to what TMZ did. TMZ posted a 10 second clip of the food that was allegedly there for 30 people. I remember seeing there was like four or five containers that were only half full of like french fries. I could eat one of those by myself and I'm sitting there looking at all this food that allegedly was for 30 people. That's from the steakhouse. And I kept thinking, you know, if I'm having a party, I'm gonna have a lot more food than just that. I mean, I, I fed you know, I've worked at a restaurant. I've fed people at tailgates and stuff. And I'm like, that ain't much food. But then again, it's young people. You know, they look good. They're probably not going to eat a whole lot. Oh, forgive me. Maybe I can call 211 and see if they can help me get some sleep and stop yawning. And so, Emily Ann, I think it was. Maybe it was, was it Emily Ann? Somebody sent me a picture that was from yesterday with Dak Prescott carrying two bags. Of food from the steakhouse the steakhouse who yesterday did a charity thing where they delivered food for doctors and nurses that are taking care of you know patients and things because that's the thing we do in these days we are all working to help each other out and stuff now I don't know if Dak Prescott was part of this thing of helping to get food to, to the nurses and doctors and things like that but I'm sitting here looking at these two bags and these two bags don't look like enough food for 30 people. And this whole thing just kind of, it just didn't feel quite right. Now, Drew Davidson tweeted out that the police actually came to the property and could find no evidence of them messing with the social distance rule. Social distance rule is supposed to be 10 or more people. Now, now again, I'm not there. I wasn't there. I don't know, but I'm just going by what's been reported. And so if it was a party, it certainly didn't look like it when the police came through there. So somewhere in here, somewhere in here, there's the truth. And on every story, there's always three sides. There's your side, there's my side, and somewhere in the middle lies the truth. And nobody's ever going to put themselves into a bad light. TMZ, they're about getting the story. They're about getting the clicks. Once they get the clicks, we don't care about the rest of the story. We did what we wanted to do. We got the excitement. We got the clicks. We're going to collect our money. So before we condemn this, we need to get all of the facts together. That's 
That's all I'm saying about that. We just don't know what we don't know. But as people, we have a tendency when we hear something from the police or from the news media and things like that, we ultimately are ready to believe them and condemn whomever it may be. And we know that there's always an agenda out for the Dallas Cowboys players and stuff because, let's face it, if it's Dak, if it's Dev, if it's Zeke, if it's Jerry, it's going to be big news. Because you can have the owner of the Patriots in a massage parlor in Miami and it gets swept under the rug. Let a Dallas Cowboy have a little something something going on. And believe me, they're going to get crucified. So, figure... My neighbors, they're hunkering down apparently. Just a little bit. Just a little bit loud. There's going to be more to this story that's going to surface. So, we've got the Dak side disputing what TMZ is reporting. And we know TMZ has a vendetta. I mean, when they, I remember them trying to get Zeke when he was just out buying some tennis shoes. I don't know, man. So, I'm hoping that the story that we're hearing from Drew Davidson is more of what the real deal is. That Dak and Zeke weren't out there partying like it's 1999 and the end of the world. And they're actually partying like it's 2020, which is by your damn self. I'll be so happy when we can get back to normal. Back to life, back to reality. All right, guys. Don't know if I'll be back out here tonight or not. But I can guarantee I'll be back out here first thing in the morning. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Let's turn off the lights. This party is over. Or is it? Is it? Is it over? Should it be over? Should I stop? Or should I go on? Hmm. Hmm. How you guys doing? For real. How are you guys really doing? Through all this. It's crazy that. A little over two months ago. I was in Miami at the epicenter of the world, the Super Bowl. Hundreds of thousands of people gathered together from all over the country and all over the world. Parties everywhere. A celebration of the whole NFL season. Hundreds of media personnel there covering mundane things you know to things like what color shoes are you going to wear the weather outside if it was going to be hot or if it was going to rain and here we are now the polar opposite 
it's almost like it's surreal and not really real. But I'll tell you this. Once we get through this thing, once we get back to getting together and watching football and doing things, all of those things that we miss right now will be so much sweeter. You'll appreciate them more than you ever have before. When you get to hang out with your friends or see your mother and your father, and, you know, and things and go to the movies, you're going to enjoy those things that much more. You're going to appreciate them and you're going to remember this time as the moment that you looked at life differently. Things are changing. And what I've always learned in my life, whenever I've had times that have been bad at the time, that I thought it was the worst thing in the world, what came from it was a new understanding and a new outlook on life and an appreciation for the things that you have. It may sound crazy right now, but you'll understand in a few months exactly what I'm talking about. All right, guys. Good night.